And do you find the Canadian public more receptive to theatre now? I mean, you look out and they're either sleeping, or as you say, they're sleeping, or they're looking up, or they're engaged. Over the years, because I don't know who else has that large span of looking out at audiences, what have you seen? You see an improvement, certainly. <laughs> we had a wonderful time the other day with As You Like It, though, because we were doing the forest scene. <clears throat> And there was a little girl, she couldn't have been more than seven years old, right in the front row. And um, Grandma Abby got to all the worlds, the stage, and all the men and women, merely players. Well, by that time, they'd had a fair amount of it, you know. And this little girl had been very attentive, but by that point, she got tired. So she turned around, put her head down in her seat, and her little bum was facing right in Graham's face, as he said. All the world's a stage. <laughs> well, she was a bit too young. But, but do you think Guinness, you tick them off in the old days uh, if they weren't paying attention. I was with him one day, and um, Richard III, we were coming on from one of the tunnels, and I came with a banner first, and Guinness came up behind me and said, Give me that banner. I said, Alec, I said, Give me the banner. So he took the banner, went first. There was a woman sitting in the front row right by the entrance. She'd had the text in front of her all afternoon. She hadn't looked up once. She was making the cuts in the play. She was obviously a school teacher, you know. Hadn't looked up once during the performance thus far, and we were nearly at the end by that time. Guinness marched up the tunnel and took the pole and flipped the book out of her hand and said, you pay attention. Well, she did. From <laughs> he, he would let them know if he was displeased. 